and welcome to the SAP Business One overview video series. Today we're going to be looking at banking. Specifically, we're going to be looking at outgoing payments. So let's go over here to our modules on the left hand side and let's go down to our banking and let's take a look at what we've got going here with outgoing payments. As we can see, I can do an outgoing payment, I can do a check for payment, I could do a void check for payment, or I could do a report for my payments. But let's just go out and look at our outgoing payments and what we have available here. Now, as we can see, what I can do is I could go in and choose whatever type of vendor or customer as an outgoing payment that I wanted this to do. I'm going to go to a vendor here and let's go and choose one of our vendors. Let's choose Far East Imports and we're going to pick that up in the system. Now, as we can see here, here are all of the goods receipt POs for that vendor that are in the system. I also have noted here a column that I've made active to show what is overdue. And as you can see, I have quite a lot of overdue payments. Um, that I want to send out. So let's choose a couple of these and let's go through and uh, uh, send an outgoing payment to this vendor. So what we're going to notice down here on the right hand side, here's that total. Well, I'm going to click on my little bank and what we're going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put that amount up here with a copy and a paste. It makes it very simple and easy for me to do this within the system. Now I can do this as a check, which I'm going to be doing today. I could do this as a bank transfer if I wanted to. If I was going to be putting this onto a credit card, I could also do that. Or if I was going to be doing cash, I would find what GL account I wanted my cash to come from. But we're going to do this as a check and we're going to see that all of that item and amount is in the system. There we go. It has been provided to me. We can see those two items are highlighted and very simply and easily I'm going to add that on into the, into the system. Now. Here we go, it takes me back to a blank screen, so nice and easy for me to look at this. But as I look at my outgoing payments, this is what we just did. If I go down to my relationship map, we can now see the AP invoices of this outgoing payment. Because I did two of them with a single payment, you can see how the links of the two invoices reflect back onto that outgoing payment, making it very simple and easy for me to keep track of all of that information and my relationship document flow within Business One. Thank you very much for listening to the overview today of banking outgoing payments.